just as Tom here has risen, though the shell may belong to Great Britain, the eagle inside belongs to us. When a king becomes a tyrant, he thereby breaks the contract binding his subjects to him. How so? By taking away their rights. Rights that came from him in the first place? All except one. The right to be free comes from nature. John, really? You talk as if independence were the rule. It's never been done before. No colony has ever broken from the parent stem in the history of the world. John, but Franklin, you make a sound treasonous. Do I? Treason, eh? Treason is a charge invented by winners as an excuse for hanging the losers. I can't say I'm very fond of the United States of America as a name for a new country. For it was high, 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 little, little, twixt me. The slavery clause has got to go. Franklin, what are you saying? It's a luxury we can't afford. A half million souls in chains. And Dr. Franklin calls it a luxury. The issue here is independence. Molasses to rum to slaves. Who sail the ships back to Boston? Laden with cold seed gleam. It has been more than a year since Concord and Lexington. Damn it, man, we're at war. You hang to the rear on every issue so that if we should go under, you'll still remain afloat. Are you calling me a coward? Yes, coward. Madman. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.